time to get real. So, besides the last two episodes that I filmed on my birthday, before that, it had been a little while since I filmed. Around six months. So, that means it's been a little while since I've shown off any CRTs that I've rescued out in the wild. Well, we're about to change all that, you see? Because before this whole virus came around, before this whole quarantine happened, I was still looking for that. Oh yeah, I said the dirty word. The dirty Q word. Quarantine. I've got a quarantine beard going on up here. i got a quarantine beer belly going on down here. And I have some pre-quarantine collected CRTs going on in here. So yeah, as you can see, last year when I was solely editing and not filming, I was definitely not taking a break from rescuing the CRTs. I'd been looking, and I'd been preparing. It's almost as if the CRT gods were looking down on me and getting me ready, preparing me for this coronavirus, for this quarantine, and for this very moment. So, we're gonna get back to basics. We're gonna beat some fucking battle tubes on some fucking CRTs. But first, I wanna go over something that we kinda of forgot about, and we kinda of strayed away from. The rules. The rules for beating battle tubes on as many CRTs as possible. To honor and remember them forever with the battle tubes end screen photo. Rule number one. When convenient, the CRT must be played where found. Wait a minute. What is it? Rule number one. Unless it's being purchased, it's in the dumpster, on the side of the road, etc. When convenient, the CRT should be played where found. Rule number one, when convenient, the CRT must be played where found. Rule number one, when convenient, the CRT must be played where found. So is it should be played where found, or must be played where found? Well apparently, I don't even know. So from this point forward, we're going to do this. Rule number one, when convenient, the CRT must be played where found. I just wanted to clarify, rule number one does not apply to any CRTs in here. These are CRTs that I've bought online at the flea market or estate sales or found out in the wild. And I wasn't able to play them where I found them when I got them. Rule number one applies to CRTs that are not owned by me and in somebody's house or wherever. So. Say one day I come to your house, and I beat Battletoads on your CRT, then rule number one. So anyway, moving along. Rule number two, consuming adult beverages is encouraged. Rule number three, you will die many times. Rule number four, CRTs played at my house that are 20 inches or less will be given the Battle Toads end screen honor upon the Toad table. Rule number five, after the Battle Toads end screen, CRTs that I own will be passed on to the next retro gamer. 
Rule number six. CRTs can be anywhere. Actively look for them at all times. Rule number seven. The controller must be spiked at the defeat of the Dark Queen. Rule number eight. The end screen fairy must be taken to immortalize the CRT forever. Rule number nine. The model number and other information for each CRT must be captured for proper documentation. Rule number 10, never trust a cord cutter. And rule number 11, every Sylvania CRT will also receive the Castlevania end screen. Well, let's get started, starting with rule number two. What happened? Did I break it? Fuck. I think I broke it. This day has the worst lighting in history. I did. <clears throat> We're gonna beat some battle toads. Battle toads. We're gonna get back to basics. We're gonna beat some battle toads. Shit. So, we're gonna. Does not apply to any CRTs in here. These are tier. Tip, tip. Alright, you ready? This is. These fucking cars don't get out of here. This is the audio. Oh my god, there's another truck coming. 